And this is what happens when you get hit by a train and two double ducket buses. But it's cool. I am not sounding or feeling like myself. Please forgive the interruption at the end of the last surgeon. That was Dr. Nima <laughs> Chandra. Huh? Nima has some trials of her own going on somewhere in labs. Yeah, yeah, She's whatever. Making real listen, progress. listen, I'm, I don't feel well. You gotta shut up. Scanner. I'm gonna end up destroying this entire place. Be quiet. <laughs> quiet. Why do I have to do this? I am not a technician or electrical engineer or whatever. I am a doctor. I don't deserve to be doing all this. What is this? I need that room. Get the. Get... Uh... All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Let's think this through. What do we need? We need an assistant to come clean this mess up. Oh, well, of course they have a hidden tunnel. Why can't my stuff just be set up for me when I get here? Please pretend you're not seeing this. Oh, I'm seeing it all. I'm seeing it on my report net. What the heck is that? It's okay, you're lucky I'm here for a higher purpose. They need me. They need doctors like me. There we go. Yeah. Well, I am not all there today, am I? Come on. Don't worry, Bob. It's coming. I'm gonna make you beautiful again. Ugh. Julian has freshly stocked the storeroom for you. Oh, wow. Julian's useful. Ah, a diagnostic scanner. That'll do nicely. Yes. I need to know what I'm doing to my patient, even though I'm probably not gonna do it because these things take time. And an artist doesn't follow rules. You make your own rules. Okay, you know what? There. Nice. Oh, shut up. I know I'm on there. Alright, Bob. Let's see what's wrong with you today. Now, Bob, as I said, I have a cold. It's fine. It's not contagious. I don't think. Oh, you need a leg. You need a heart and a stomach. Easy enough. It's okay, Bob. Just give me a second to set everything up and I'll be right with you. Now, Bob, it will not be like last time, I promise. I'll actually do what you need. I'm gonna give you everything that you need. This is what you want. It's not what you need, though, Bob. Not what you need. And you need to transcend. Alright, Bob. Everything is ready. Now, we have to break your rib cage, Bob. And right now, I am too, too out of it to care what I use. This will do perfectly. You might ask, hey, aren't you sick? Should you be taking a day off? Well, crime doesn't take a day off, neither do I. That's just how it is. I, uh, let's see those ribs of yours. You don't really need ribs, honestly. It just blocks everything. Open the rib cage. Huh. I don't think that's how it pulls a look. Is that supposed to look? Are your ribs supposed to be in there like that? I don't want you to die on me. Not just yet, Bob. <coughs> ah. Let's just uh, ignore that happened. I really shouldn't cough inside the wound, but... <coughs> Can't help it. Oh, that's your arm. <laughs> oh, sorry. Almost pulled that off. You wait. I forgot. What was I supposed to do? Give you a, a heart and a stomach. Oh. Alright, Bob, even though I'm seeing four of you, hopefully I know how to do this. Uh, that didn't work. Ah, there we go. You don't need that. I think that's just there for uh, storage purposes. And this, out. Using blood? We're not losing it that bad. We can keep going. 
So let me tell you something, Bob. I got sued again. It wasn't my fault, though. That dog just happened to be there. I didn't put it in his cavity. Oh, I think you needed that one. Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you need the hill. All right. All right. All right. Calm down. Everyone calm down. Back away. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. Let's continue. So you look all the same. Yeah, the dog just, just got there. I didn't touch it. I mean... Where did I get a dog from? Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, you're still bleeding? How are you still bleeding? Alright, so you need a new stomach and a new heart. Where did I get those things again? <clears throat> we would have to improvise. Improvising is a way to go. Excuse me. Thank you, sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am. Oh, come on. Alright, come on. Give me. And there we go. Oh. Hope you brought a jumper. A jumper? Oh, what do I need that for? There's no bodies here. Oh, we do need a heart. Heart? Uh, stomach. Perfect. Stomach. Perfect. Hey Bob, I have a question for you. Can the body live without a heart or a brain? It, it, it's, it's a legit question. I feel like it can. But uh, how will we do this? You don't need this. Thank you. And perfect. High five, Bob. Just soak up all the blood that he lost. Just put it in there. Stuff it inside. Just get in there, soak it up. Make a blood sandwich. Ah, perfect. And still need this. Perfect. I don't know about two, but that looks good. Come on, stomach. Come on. In you go. Perfect. Ah, and then his leg, and then that's it. And hurry up, and... Connect! Bob, cooperate me! Connect! Why are you not connect me? Oh, there we go. What's wrong with his head? Oh, come on. What do you mean this is unacceptable? That's where it belongs. Is it? <coughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I guess he has to use his head. Oh, Bob, they don't know us. They don't know how I'm trying to help you. Look at this. This gelatinous. It's so squishy. Bob, tell them how much you love me. You can give him a head. You can't use an arm as a head. That's not how that works. Well, he's still alive, isn't he? I mean, it should be fine. I have to put some more blood in him. It's gonna bleed out all over the place again. I mean, yeah. Look, bleeding out is not bad. It's not a bad thing. It just means your body's working properly. I mean, if someone takes your head off and you don't bleed out, then I'm more concerned. Alright, more blood in him. Fine. Let's get his head ready. I'm keeping that piece of bread in there, though. Alright. Ready, Bob? High five before you take this off. Apparently, he doesn't like it. Beautifully done. I'm sorry about the missing scanner. 
and the fuses. Whatever, continue. Dr. Joshua, I know you're creeping around in those vents. I don't know why you're intent on ruining everything, but you must understand you're only endangering Robert. Certain friends are I don't care about any of this. Difficult. Don't worry, everything Hello? is fine. How are you? Oh, certainly will be fine. Oh. Right, Julian? Tickle the ribs. Tickle, 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 tickle. Alright, Bob. Listen to me. No one see us. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the impossible blob. We're gonna take off all your body parts and keep you alive. Oh, I can't wait. You're just gonna be a... Uh, a chicken nugget! Literally! Oh, Bob, I can't wait to see how you look. Like I can dunk you in barbecue sauce and ranch dressing. Screw blue cheese. It's not good. You definitely need more blood. So let's pile you up. I mean, who needs arms and legs? They're just a burden to you, Bob. Imagine being a, a limbless... Just corpse. It's it's gonna be amazing. These beautiful limbs give them a new home, a new place. So Bob, pick. Do you want your arm to go first, or your legs, or your head? Honestly, I'm kind of going toward the legs. They seem very rippable. Just rip them off. All right, Bob. Trust me. This is for your own good. But I would prefer a saw, and I cannot find one. Oh! This will do nicely. One quick chop. Alright, Bob. Bear with me. Chop, chop, chop. It's off. See, Bob? That wasn't so hard. A little painful, maybe. And look at you. Brand new. And you're still losing blood. Blob, try to bleed a little less, please. Oh, Bob, shh. Don't scream. Don't scream. It only drives me. Shh. Alright, so where's the hatchet? Thank you for holding it, Bob. You are such a great patient. I just, most patients don't hold my stuff. They usually scream and tell me I'm a psycho and, you know, claw at the glass and try to call the cops. But you are amazing. All right, we're going to do it all this time, Bob. Ready. Oh, shh. It's okay, Bob. It's okay. It's okay. Almost done. Almost done. And it's off. See? Wasn't that bad. There. Wait, is your arm still connected? Oh, Bob, you're being difficult. And I just healed you, too. So you have to go through all that pain again. Right. Oh, no, you don't. You're almost there. Okay. One more swing. There you go. And let's heal you up. Awesome. Oh, Bob, you're coming together beautifully. Just give me a second. Because you are a bleeder, as always. Oh, look at that! Your arm's decaying! See, I told you it wasn't good for you. See, I know best. It's just... Cuts, chop, chop, chop. Oh! I got stuck! Sorry! Bob, don't bleed out with me! I'm coming, Bob! Oh god, Bob. God, why must you be a bleeder? Mess up my swifty new freaking patient uniform. 
I'm definitely not a patient. I definitely need to get off the table and start operating them. That did not happen. How would I make you beautiful if you won't cooperate, Bob? Why? You really are my favorite patient. I'm not just saying that, you know? I don't say it to all patients. Ah, oh, you need some more blood. Oh, God. Well, this is our last one, I think. Oh. But if you use this, I might just have to put something else in your body to pass his blood. Stab it. Come on. Is that not working? Do you not like this, Bob? There we go. Because Bob is a bleeder and he's overdramatic. Yes, you are. Alright, Bob. <sighs> I feel like I should do your arm next. See? You have a lot of blood. Let's take away this arm, shall we? Nice, Bob. Hold on. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, that's, oh. Hey, Bob, you're really, you're really bleeding profusely there, bro. This is so close. We're so close to my accomplishment. Let me be great, Bob. Let me be great. Oh, last blood. Last blood, Bob. Well, doing this. Blood, please. What will they think of me, Bob, if you die? They won't think of me at all. That's what will happen. I'll be a laughing stock. I will not have that. Hey, you got a little bit of blood right here. Hold on. We need all we can get. I hope you're not in any pain right now, Bob, because that's not my, my thing. I don't like to make people in pain. I really don't. Pain is not really good for me. Or you. Alright, Bob, calm down. Eat. There you go, Bob. Alright, alright. No Bob found. What do you mean no Bob found? He's right there. Are you saying he's not a bob because he doesn't have legs? Or an arm? Or a small intestine? But he's still human! You don't think he was a person, Bob? I know how it feels to be cast away and thrown aside. It's fine. Alright, Bob. We see the best for last. You know what? I'm not heartless. I'll use a tool on it. All right, Bob, bear with me. Bob, please, cut. Ah, perfect. Oh, come on. Oh.